Sasha is a tawny she-cat with a darker brown tail and ears and blue eyes. She was a kitty pet from birth and lived with her elderly housefolk, Ken and Jean. She loved them and liked the fact that they let her out at night to have her own adventures. But this idyllic life came crashing to a halt. First Jean died, and soon after, Ken began to grow weak, too. One day, he was brought away by other two legs. Sasha waited for him and saw one of his friends come to the house, but eventually she had to accept that Ken probably wasn't coming back. Not feeling ready to start a new life with other housefolk yet, she set off on her own. Another lone cat, Pine, explained to her that she was now called a rogue and helped remove her collar and warned her to stay away from the fierce clan cats nearby. This only made Sasha curious about the clan cats, and she soon met a shadow clan patrol and their leader, Tiger Star. Tigerstar and Sasha were mutually interested in each other and began meeting every night, and Sasha began to fall in love with him. When he discovered her den and her collar, he was disgusted that she held on to her kitty pet past. So she decided to show him things for her kitty pet life and how much it meant to her, and in turn, he brought her to Shadowclan to experience true forest life. She liked what she saw and did there, and Tigerstar gave her one day to choose whether she wanted to join Shadowclan permanently. After seeing Pine sick and alone as a rogue, Sasha made up her mind to join. That's when she overheard a meeting between Tigerstar and his senior warriors, where he spoke of his intentions to destroy ThunderClan and then take over the forest. Sasha realized that Tigerstar loved power and bloodshed more than he loved her. She refused to join him and left. After dreaming of Ken, she became determined to find her old housefolk again, and she set off into Two Leg Place to look for him. Eventually, she found some of his clothing, but it made her realize that since he wasn't around with it, that must mean that Ken was gone for good now. Sasha wandered around until she unintentionally found herself on a riverboat. The owner of it, called the Captain, wasn't happy to see her at first, but after her presence seemed to attract other two legs, he decided to let her stay, and named her Brownie. Sasha was happy to help the Captain, who had always seemed so sad but more and more she began to feel that the boat wasn't where she belonged. One day, Sasha and the captain found a kit inside a bag in the river. The captain named him Patch, and together, he and Sasha cared for the young one. Sasha was relieved that it came naturally to her, since at this point, she'd realized that she was going to have kits of her own. Finally, it was time to leave the boat for the cold season. Sasha knew that the captain didn't need her anymore, since he had Patch, and she headed back to the forest to raise her kits in the wild. She gave birth to three of them, who she named Hawk, Moth, and Tadpole. She was determined that Tigerstar would never be part of their lives, never told them about him, and planned to move them away from ShadowClan territory as soon as they were big enough. Russetfer found her den, and reported that Tigerstar had been killed by a two-legged place cat that he'd made a deal with. Sasha was relieved, but also missed him. Tragedy struck Sasha's small family when her kits wandered into two-leg place on their own, resulting in Tadpole drowning. Sasha struggled to care for herself and her remaining kits afterward. The rogue Pine visited them and suggested they go to live on a nearby farm. So they went there with him, but the cats there were less unwelcoming, and Sasha knew they had to come up with a different plan. She next brought them to RiverClan. On the way, she told them about Tigerstar and warned them to never mention his name to any cat. River Clan accepted the three into the clan. Sasha refused to take a warrior name for the time being, but the clan got over that quickly and warmed up to them. After Feathertail saved Sasha's son Hawk from drowning, the two became good friends. But when Feathertail explained to Sasha that Tiger Star tried to have her and Stormfur killed for being half clan, Sasha chose not to reveal her involvement with him. Once New Leaf arrived, Hawk and Moth were apprenticed and Leopard Star chose herself and her deputy Missyfoot as their mentors. Things seemed to be going well, until Moss Pelt warned some misbehaving kits that Tiger Star would come and get them if they were bad. Feathertail noticed Sasha's reaction, and when she asked her about it, Sasha confessed that she'd been Tiger Star's mate, and that she still loved him. She begged Feathertail not to tell the clan, for her kit's safety, and Feathertail agreed, but said that the two of them were done. Time passed, and Leopard Star became more insistent that Sasha officially join the clan. Sasha feared that if she did so, Shadow Clan cats would recognize her at a gathering, and her kits would be in danger. 
She feared for them even more after they discovered the remnants of the Bone Hill, and Leopard Star explained Tiger Star's history with River Clan. Sasha made up her mind it was time to leave the clan. Hawkpaw didn't want to leave, and Mothpaw wished to stay with her brother. They promised to never tell anyone that Tiger Star was their father, and Sasha realized that this would work since she wouldn't be there for the other cats to recognize. Before she left, she had Feathertail promise she'd keep Hawkpaw and Mothpaw's father a secret, and afterward she said farewell to her kits. It hurt her badly to leave them, but she knew they'd be strong, and heard Tiger Star's voice in her head promising to watch over them. Where she went afterward isn't clear, but she was near enough to the forest to know her kit's warrior names, and to hear that two legs were destroying the forest, and she wanted to make sure that they were okay in light of this. The two legs put out traps with cat food in them, and Sasha was caught in one, and brought to a small den where other captured cats, including the River Clan deputy Mistyfoot, were being held. One day, all of the cats' cages were put into a two-leg monster, and the Thunder Clan patrol helped all of them, Sasha included, escape. Sasha went to visit River Clan afterward to see Hawk Frost and Mothwing for herself, and along the way, Firestar of Thunder Clan asked if Tiger Star was their father. Sasha confirmed that he was. The clans decided to leave the forest. Sasha didn't think that it was safe for Hawk Frost and Mothwing to stay with the clans anymore due to their uncertain future and begged them to come with her, so that they'd at least be together again. She even went so far as to reveal to everyone that Tiger Star had been their father. Despite this, Hawk Frost and Mothwing wished to remain in River Clan, and Firestar spoke in support of them. Feeling defeated, Sasha wished them well, and said goodbye to her kits for the last time. Sasha's life changed from a happy and easygoing one to seasons of fear and uncertainty. Her feelings for Tiger Star were complicated, and she worried about what his lineage might mean for their kits. But one thing is for certain. She always did what she thought was best to protect them.